Identifying independent and dependent events. Actually a very tricky topic, and there are mathematical definitions for these things, but we're just going to go by feel. So if you flip a coin twice, I flip a coin, and I flip it again. The question is, does this, does the outcome of this event affect the outcome of this event? Right, so whether I get heads or tails here, does that affect whether I get heads or tails here? And your feeling on that is no, right? The first coin flip does not affect, affect the second coin flip. So in that sense, these two events are independent. You pick a card at random, then put it back. Then you pick another card. Are these two events dependent or independent? Well, they probably also mean to say, and you look at the color, right? Or something like this, right? So if I take a card and I put it back, that's called with replacement. So let's say I'm, I'm, I wanna know the odds I get a seven, right? So if I pick a seven the first time, what are the odds? One in four. If I then put the seven back, right? And I draw again, what are the odds of getting a seven again, right? Still one in four. So it all has to do with whether I put the card back or not. In this case, if I put it back, the events are independent. Independent. You spin the spinner wheel twice. Are the two events dependent or independent? I think these are, these are such great questions. They're such good ways to get your mind thinking about basics of probability, right? So are these events independent or dependent? Well, do you think what happens on the first spin will affect what happens on the second spin? Right, if I have a one out of six chance of getting the three the first time, will that change the second time? No, right? They are independent events. Okay, so now let's say I pick a card. What are my chances of getting a white card? Three out of six. What if I put it back and then I draw again? Are my chances still three out of six? Yes, they are, right? Because I put it back, right? If I didn't put it back, the new chances would be two out of five, right? Because it'd be one less white card and one less card, right? So those that changing would, would indicate a dependency, right? So because we're putting the card back, they are independent events. You pick a marble at random, put it back, then pick another marble at random. Are these two events dependent or independent? Same idea, you're putting it back, so you're returning the state back to normal, and then you're repeating the trial. So it should be independent. The trial should be independent. You pick up a marble, you put it back, and you pick up another marble. Independent or dependent? Well, you're putting it back, so you're returning the state, the world state to its initial state, so independent. Everything has been independent so far. You pick a card at random without putting the first card back. You pick a second card. Are the two events dependent or independent, right? So now the odds will change. If I, if I take a card the first time, the chances are I get a two out of six for green. I'm just picking a random color. It doesn't matter. The same logic will hold. If I do two out of six the first time and I don't put it back, let's say I pick that one, what are my odds of getting green the second time? One out of five. Since two out of six and one out of five are different, I've affected my probabilities, right? And depending on what happens the first time, what happens the second time will be different. The, the probability of it happening again the second time is different, right? So these events are dependent. You pick a marble at random without putting the first marble back, you put a second marble, you pick a second marble. Again, here's a perfect example. Let's say I pick a, I'm, I'm interested in a white marble, right? So I take a, I have a one in six chance of getting a white marble. Then once I pick it, what are my chances of getting a white marble? Zero, right? So it's very much dependent on whether I picked a white marble the first time or not, right? And so, these events are dependent because I'm not putting the first marble back. Dependent. You pick a marble at random without putting the first marble back, you pick it a second random. So again, we're not putting it back, so dependent.
Without putting the first marble back, you pick a second mar marble at random. Are these two events dependent or independent? So technically for an event, you need some sort of measurement, right? So you want to say something like, you look at the first marble and it's yellow or something like that, right? But we get the idea, right? The idea is without, without putting the first marble back, right? The events are going to be dependent. All right. Think about what events are independent and dependent in your life. If you are nice to your parents, do you have a better chance of getting gifts? I don't know. That's just an example that comes to mind. All right. Think about that. And I'll see you next time.